I'm gonna attack legitimately with my Sky Shroud Elite. So what's very funny to me now mm -hmm. is I actually don't know if that's a bluff. That's because <laughs> I'm a master poker player. Right? Calling it a bluff is actually a bluff. So many levels. There's only one way to find it. Wait, you're my teammate. Never mind. <laughs> no, help me! I think you always block. What's worst case scenario? I give I, him back his murder. I can't help you for two reasons. Oh, you actually know what's in his hand. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> but also I know what's in his hand. <laughs> What's up? It's Shuffle Up and Play! Bonjour! Today, we are playing Commander, but it's Canadian Commander, which is played without a Commander, and in 1v1. Is that a correct assessment and description of Canadian Highlander? I am so mad right now. <laughs> what? That's, that's exactly, that's Canadian Commander, is you only play 1v1 and you have no Commander. There's no other difference, and it's a different ban list. It's a restricted list. There's no banned cards. Besides that, it's the same. He nailed it. I, I am so mad right now. <laughs> He's doing his best. He's an American. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you were supposed to be nice, you Canadians. All oh, right. Oh, we're polite. Polite, not nice. Okay, well, we have three Canadians here with us today, and we are playing Tag Team Canadian Highlander, where we are on teams. Who is playing round one on team one, and who is your partner? Hi, I'm Benjamin Wheeler. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. <laughs> I'm a full-time Canadian content creator. I'm a member of Loading Ready Run. And I've played Canadian Highlander once or twice or... Aren't you a significant, like, like no joking, aren't you a significant, like, you created Canadian no, Highlander? No, 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 we can't do no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> Did you, you, you popularized Canadian Highlander? I, You're on the rules committee for Canadian Highlander? I'll take that second one. That okay. other one might get me in trouble. Oh. I, walking on eggshells. I yeah, all right, all right, all right. I play this a lot uh, for a living. Right. Whether or not that will translate into success is a different story. Uh, I am playing a Paradox Engine Tolarian Academy combo deck. It's uh, my baby, my cinnamon apple, my pride and joy. So your commander is Paradox Engine. Again, <laughs> this is, aren't you supposed to be helping the format I by asked, doing this? I asked Wheeler when we were setting this up, what if we did Canadian Highlander, but in multiplayer and he said, oh God, no. We've done it, <laughs> it's terrible. So instead what we're doing is tag team. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to pick anyone you want as your partner, as did I. And when they weren't available, I went to Serge Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me, Ben. I'm glad I was your second pick. Second? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Serge. I'm also from Loading Ready Run, and this is my format of choice. If I could play any magic at all, it would always be Canlander. I was brought here because I have the most wins against Benjamin Wheeler, probably in the world at this point. Uh, it's not many, it's not many. Not many people get to beat him. Uh, and I'm here to beat you, right? No, we're working together. Oh. Yeah, we, got, we have to leave the antagonism at home. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're there's teaming. nobody who knows Wheeler better at this table. It's, I got the soul read. This will be perfect. I think and that means do not listen to his, <laughs> yeah. his advice. Smart. Clearly he wants you to lose. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as the premier Lance pilot of the format, I brought Abzan Lance and I can't wait to pilot it. Show you how it's done. I'll give you some tips. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I promise I'm not on Merfolk, but since I didn't get my first pick of decks, you'll see what I'm on when I get tagged in. I thought, you know, uh, uh, Wheeler got to pick Surge. I should pick someone equally talented. Pascal, would you like to tell everyone who you are and what your Magic the Gathering accomplishments are? Uh, I'm Pascal Maynard. Uh, I used to play Magic professionally. Now I do this. <laughs> or I try to play professionally. And what are some of your biggest, uh, uh, what is your, like, what are your stats? What, what are your... A lot of people don't know what that means anymore. It's okay, Grand it's Prix's, okay. I have 13 Grand Prix top eights. You have, uh, sorry, 13 Grand Prix top eights. Uh, Serge, how many Grand Prix top eights do you have? I don't even know if I have day two to Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be sweet. Please continue. Oh, jeez. I've played a lot of Grand Prix. I, I, one of my favorite stats is that I've played over a hundred Grand Prix. Wow. Yeah, 13 Grand Prix top eights. I have top eighted two Pro Tours, played about 30. Yeah, yeah just so okay, cool. Yeah, you know, let's pick your partner, pick your partner. You've, you've top eighted Pro Tours, right? Hey, hey good luck, bud. <laughs> 
And then Surge has to go up against me. How many top eights do you got? I won game day Dark Ascension with Mono Red Burn. Reverberated that goblin grenade, baby. Yikes. You got this, bud, you got this. I do like that you started off by, with a sick burn on Pascal by saying that he was a comparable, like, playing ability to myself. It was, it was, I, I apologize <laughs> for that. It was not unintentional. <laughs> I did not mean to compare you to Wheeler. I, I, I'm really sorry. I'm fine with that. He's, he's played way more Canadian Highlander than I have. I think we might need to compare build power in the format. And since Canadian Highlander is a more competitive oriented than a casual commander, instead of spin downs, uh, players like to keep track of their life totals using pen and paper. And what I have here are these lovely pen and papers from the Mythic Store, not a sponsor of this channel, just an awesome game store that you could go enjoy if you are in Quebec. It is owned and operated and run by Pascal here, and it is Le Boutique Mythique. How would I say come come play at Le, Le Boutique Mythique? Venez jouer à la Boutique Mythique. Yes, that. Here, I'm gonna, we're gonna put what Pascal just said. <laughs> Venez jouer à la Boutique Mythique. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ooh. See, my French is impeccable. Wheeler, you speak French, right? <laughs> um, <peu. laughs> yeah, that's about as peak Canadians we're gonna get right here. It's like, yeah, all Canadians are uh, duolingual, right? Yes. We. Uh, uh, oui. Save Ray. <laughs> Shall we roll to see who goes Ooh. first? Yes, let's. I'll, I'll let Wheeler do the first roll. You got the I got something of a history oh my of God. winning die rolls. He's got like 70 to 80% die rolls. <laughs> so it rolled off, it rolled off the mat, but it 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 we're, we usually ask them to re-roll, but in this case, I don't think so. Oh. Wheeler! You're the chosen one! Yeah, I don't want to hear What's the start? Yeah, yeah. After that, I don't want to hear any comment about me winning die rolls ever again. All right. Please try and keep the roll on the mat. Are you just gonna roll one? Oh, the disrespect. Oh, the, the disrespect! disrespect. <laughs> I think that means we will start every game. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, do I know how to pick them or do I know how to pick them? <laughs> oh my God. Brother, this is too much. Ooh, let's shuffle uh, up and play. Yeah. You do have to shuffle though. Okay. Up and play. Oh, oh no, wow. I saw that. Good start, good start. We'll, we'll, actually we'll yeah, we'll okay. actually shuffle. No, no, this okay. isn't, the, would shuffle this, so this isn't the pro tour. We don't <laughs> cheat here. Oh, oh my God. God. Can't just say that. Why? Is there still? Oh, there is still a pro tour. It's just not Grand Prix anymore. It came back to a pro. Tour. It came back after every other game it had, it, started yes. calling in a pro tour. Yeah. It had a flashback. <laughs> and this is your personal Canadian Highlander deck, yeah. right? Yeah. It boasts uh, all my favorite Magic cards: Days, Cantrips, mm -hmm. Burst Lightning, Burst Lightning, Tarmogoy. Mm. Did, did you say this is the deck that you created, right, Wheeler? You created Pascal's deck, though. Like, like this was. <laughs> no. Didn't you know? This can't. Who are you boasting about something? No, this no, no. <laughs> this can't become a video of just false attributes. <laughs> So in Canadian Highlander, unlike in American Commander, there is no ban list. Instead, certain cards have been given point values and no deck may have more than 10 points in it. Uh, Wheeler, what are your pointed cards in your deck? My pointed cards are Mana Crypt, Tinker, Mana Vault, and Tolerian Academy. And Pascal, what are your pointed cards? Um, I went with a very simple three Moxen and a Treasure Cruise, which was added for free thanks to Ben because it used to be a library, which used to be a point, now is zero. Same for a Price of Progress. Wow, <laughs> so those used to be pointed cards and yeah. now they are considered not a problem. Are they uh, both legal and commander? One of them is. <laughs> the other one, not so much. You know, there are other people involved in this. It's not just me. <laughs> right. Yeah. For the commander or for the Canadian Highlander? Uh, both. Oh, both. Both. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play. Yes. Good luck. Good luck. That's a good face. That's the face of a man who likes his seven cards. And if you need advice on whether you should keep your hand or not, I'm here to, because we are teammates. Yep. So yep. at any point in the game, Wheeler can ask Serge for advice and Pascal can ask me for advice. That's noted. <laughs> <laughs> My hand has a combined mana value of 26. You think I should keep it? How many lands? Two. <laughs> Which lands? I know, he's, I know he's playing not a lot of creatures. So no. Yeah. This is uninteresting. Hmm. There's no power. Yeah. No, you're it's not. Yeah. Definite. 
Throw them back. Now, do you want to do a gentleman's mulligan where you each draw seven? Or do you feel the proper thing is to go down to six? It, well, it does benefit me, so I'll suggest it. <laughs> we got we can, combo I, versus can, tempo go, here. Yeah. I'm on the play. I will take the, the that okay. offer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Great. How do you feel your matchup is against uh, Rock Tempo here? I thought you were going to bring Jeskai, and I was like, okay, yeah, I have a pretty reasonable Jeskai match. And then finding out that there's green in there um, <laughs> made it a little scarier because you're probably playing like Price of Progress. And, <laughs> you partly made that card cost zero points, so it's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what it should should happen after any time that I lose a yeah. game. Is someone goes, well, you did this to yourself. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't it used to, to be just guy green. Okay. And I turned it to. I like the difference in seven card pickup technique here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I will say my my teammate does have a certain fluidity and, mm. and flourish even to picking up the seven. Wheeler doesn't look happy, but look at how analytical he is when he grabs those cards and scratches his head like a monkey. Yeah, you know it's it's art. Remember, Wheeler, you may ask your teammate at any time for advice, oh. and if you want, you could ask me. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, we're respected members of the Magic community here. We have valuable insight. Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Magic the Gathering. <clears throat> it's good. I think. Yeah. I right. would I would right. love to keep that seven and show people afterwards, because that is such a unique keep. So so our format. Pascal, close your eyes. Lay them out on the, the table. It's yeah. your thing. I got a black lotus. <laughs> I right. love this that's, hand. That's the opening hand. Do you, do you want to close your eyes and have Pascal lay his out? Sure. Sure. All right. Yeah, I'll close. All right. Wait, All I right. can look too. I just won't yes, say anything. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. You, okay. Wheeler's eyes are closed. You can. This is what Pascal kept. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. It sounds like a spell snare. <laughs> All right. Pick him up. Oh. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Snow covered island. Mm -hmm. The finest. Okay. Now, in, in uh, Canadian Commander, you don't draw on, on uh, turn one, though. That's another difference, too. That's another difference. Okay. Wheeler looks very irritated with me. That's great. No, That's how doing, I like him. You're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, I'm going to play Nurse's Saga. Trigger. Yep. Expedition Map. It's an artifact that lets me search for any land and put it into my hand. I am going to pass. Ooh, you know that one. I do know that one. It's not legal. It's actually, legal. actually, <laughs> technically, I don't know that one. Uh, there's a running gag about that. Although I probably okay. just revealed what it is. So uh, I assume you're about to play it. So this honestly looks. Staged. Is that the right move? That's is, like is that such a good draw? Yeah. 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 Uh, Snow covered island. Yeah. If that was what a great. That was the one. In the oh right. Oh no 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 no! Don't do this to me. Don't do. Please, I'm begging you. Do not blood moon me. It's close. Back to basics. Not as bad. It won't kill your. <laughs> oh, attack. that's fine. So non-basic lands do not untap. Ever. Ever. Period. Nice, wow. Yeah, nice, fairer, even magic here, I, right? I knew this was happening, though, from the turn one basic land in a three-color deck. I'm like, oh, no. So that Urza's <laughs> Saga stays tapped. Yeah. But it will still go up. Yeah. Lucky you. Yeah. yeah. Great card. <laughs> uh, this goes to two. Okay. So the turn two back to basics. A little backbreaking? You don't You don't seem too shook. I'm doing great, Serge. <laughs> Doing great. It's got an expedition map. You can tap two other lands to get a basic land. <laughs> It'll be fine exactly. in like five turns. I'm going to play a treasure vault as my land. That's non-basic, right? Yes. It's also an artifact, though. Uh, and I'm going to cast Mox Opal, mm. which uh, now has Metalcraft because I have three artifacts. I tap two and play Talisman of Impulse. Taps for a colorless or red and a green. I will play Days. Oh, my like, like favorite magic card. That's a pretty good this, one. This all feels super staged, but it, I swear it's not. <laughs> I will return a snow-covered island. So yep. Days lets me uh, counter a spell unless you pay one. I can return an island to my hand. My talisman is kaput. Here's the thing. If it was staged, would we really fly Wheeler out here just to write a script in which she is 
I'm just gonna say humiliated uh, uh, on uh, uh, YouTube in such a way. This isn't staged, it's skill. I mean, if I'm paid, yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'd pitch it. I mulligan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I deserved. There you go. You drew the. Why didn't you draw a mox ruby? I I drew a mox ruby. <laughs> oh right. This All right. I'll draw. All right. This is looking bad for us. But... What? I got a nurse's saw. <laughs> That's fair. Got... I'm gay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I will. As long as it's not collector who's card I've never cast before. So I'll replay this island, and I will. Flame of Anor, your box. Target player draw two, destroy an artifact, or deal five to a creature. Okay. If I have a wizard, I can choose two. I don't have a wizard. Now, I did lend you this card. <laughs> yeah, it is point. yours. <laughs> this is really awkward. I actually need that back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, as a judge, I'll allow it. Thank Sorry. You. Yeah. Um, your turn. Draw. Urza Saga trigger. Uh, does this resolve, or do you have Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, uh, Manamorphose, Stifle? It results. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna find an artifact that costs one or zero. Activate six on. Do you have uh, enchantment Lotus. removal in that deck? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, no, I do. I, I have ways of getting this off the table. So this is also, we talk a lot about different cultures and in uh, American Commander, we play a lot of, we, we, we really advise a lot of interaction and removal. Things like you do need to use some of those slots in your 100 card Commander deck for, you know, enchantment removal, creature removal. And so that's something that the Canadians maybe need to catch up to us on. I am on the Commander Advisory Group and I know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I am talk to the players. They, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna grab a mana crypt. Uh, taps for two mana, beginning my upkeep. I flip a coin, and uh, if I lose the flip, I take three, is what I've been told. I've never lost a flip. <laughs> and I never will. After, I don't know that, why. after that snake eyes, don't jinx it, my dude. I don't know why I'm shuffling uh, so much, because I'm about to go back into my deck. Uh, I'm gonna play a flooded strand. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to fetch. So despite the absolute haymakers Pascal's been throwing, that's the first damage dealt this game. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of Canlander, I mean, nowadays maybe it's a bit more aggressive, but a lot of Canlander does involve, you know, actually setting up before yeah. you can go swing for the fences. Yeah, that was totally my experience last night when Surge turned two Dark Depths me. <laughs> Two things. One, that was turn three. Oh, okay. And you were about to attack him for 15 damage. That's all just 15. That's good, honest. Uh, he would have only gone. Magic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. He, he would have only gone down to 25. Oh, no, wait. In Canadian Commander, you start at 20 life. <laughs> I'm regretting it. How can you not <laughs> claim this isn't just Canadian Commander when you're playing, you know, with your uh, uh, mana vault there? There are, mana there are a couple. Crypt? There are a couple. There are a couple. Mana something there. there. Mana something. Uh, How many points is a mana crypt? Five. Five, five. okay. Uh, there's no commanders. There are no sideboards. Your commander's in the 99. We do that in American Commander, too. It's a secret commander in the 99. Yeah, we do that in American Commander, too. Let me know if you have any questions about American Commander. Thank you for having me back. It's great <laughs> to be here. Uh, I'm gonna tap two and play a Felwar Stone. Soul Ring at home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so right now it only adds blue mana, uh, but I like blue mana. I'm going to pass the turn. Shockingly resilient. All right. He's, he's putting up a pretty mana. good fight. He's putting up a good fight. A really good fight. Considering he yeah. back to basics, Tim. Yeah, he has a lot more mana than me. How many cards? Three, two? Three. <laughs> There's nothing more terrifying than an opponent doing math. Mm -hmm. Do this. Ledger Shredder. So a one, three, flyer. Uh, whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, I connive. I will not get an unbasic land. Okay. Go. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to tap two and crack my expedition map to find any land and put it in my hand. So you're gonna go for one of the original duels, maybe? Uh, uh, something something like that? I could. Um, there's a certain academy that I do like. I might grab that. So yeah, Tolarian Academy is the taps for all the artifacts, but of course he has to consider back to basics, mm -hmm. potentially shutting that down, but there are ways around it. No, that, not potentially shutting that oh. down. <laughs> well, there, the, we're, we're out, there's no potential for Wheeler here. It's just, it's it's an inevitability. I gotta believe in my boy here. He's, yeah. got, he's got a pretty big brain in that noggin. He does. Oh! I'm gonna grab Odawara, Soaring City. I will very professionally take note of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which can let me maybe bounce the back to basics or keep me alive or reveal that I might have some redundant 
search effects in my hand. Now I need your help. Yes. You're gonna need to curse him so that he loses <laughs> five of those flips. That's our out. We need to survive okay. five turns. Okay, five flips. All right, hang on. The prof curse, I'm gonna touch your card and get my, my prof bad luck on it. Surge fixer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I good luck or bad luck? We'll find out. Wait, what? Bad luck. We're bad luck. Do we call those e even or odd? Odd is always damn. Is I it? agree with that. Odd <laughs> is I, always damn. It is because it's always applied. Yeah. All right. If somebody says, like, even is tails, you know, call me. I'll come to that store. <laughs> That's actually um, what I do, but yeah. I, I, really? I, I play, well, I'm odd. So I always go for odd. Odd is me. And so I'm always, whenever it's a thing odd or even, I'm odd, so I pick odd because I'm odd. I call tails on Magic Online, but in paper because so nobody flips coins mm. anymore. But odd is tails. No, I know. Head, yeah. <laughs> the only reason you could have totally just not taken damage there if you had played that cool. <laughs> like I just roll the die, and go yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've also learned in that. French, uh, even is pair, and losing is also pair. So we just say hmm. Paella is paella. I, I just got back from Spain. Great paella there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize to French viewers. That was, that was I know the language is, is, is held in high regard. I should not have made the paella joke. I apologize. Please don't unsubscribe. How do you say please don't unsubscribe in French? Say it to the camera. Please. I, <laughs> say it to the camera with passion. Please don't unsubscribe. I don't unsubscribe. think I've ever said like, so in Quebec, we speak yeah. a lot of Franglish. Mm. How, and yeah. I would just say subscribe. So I how would you how would you say please subscribe in, in French? S'il vous plaît, abonnez-vous. There we go. Mm. S'il vous plaît, abonnez-vous. Like, comment, and subscribe. Mm. I, I'm happy with just dingle, the subscribe. Dingle the bongle. I don't know what you do in well, Canada, but we don't do that here. <laughs> this is a family-friendly show, Serge. You guys don't, you don't say bongle the dongle and do this weird Whoa, with whoa, your can game? we have that, make sure that's blurred out? A little sure mosaic no, there. No, I'm revolting. Wow. I would like to play a tree of tails. It's legal, and I can't, can't respond. I think it says on the card, but it's in German. It is, uh, yes, uh, Baum der Sagen ist kein Zauberpooch. I think the, the reminder text of Artifact Clans is it's like, literally, spell. it's not a spell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I would like to tap one and cast Candle Abra of Taunus. <laughs> yeah. What's that card do? Uh, uh, well, it's a mono artifact. <sighs> Cost one, and I can pay X to untap X separate lands. However, because it's a mono artifact, it only works um, mono. <laughs> so it's not in stereo. Yeah, I need to tap it to use it. Mm, mm. It resolves. Okay. That's big. That's one of the answers we have to back to basics. Wow. Uh, I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast Sylvan Scrying. I will trigger my Ledger Shredder. I yeah, you I have. Yep. I will professionally maybe crack my land in response to increase my odds of winning mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have such a question right now, though. You're on the Commander Advisory Group. Yeah. It's more Commander questions. Now in Commander, fetch lands really don't have a statistical significance on, on deck thinning, do they in Canadian Highlander? I mean, they do in Commander too. Do yeah. they? It's just, just people don't care. Yeah. Well, who is your favorite? <laughs> who's your favorite Commander, Pascal? I have <laughs> never officially played a game of Commander. Really? Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. Back, right. back to basics. Back to basics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, with that said, I will not crack it. Yeah. Okay. I, just wanted, oh. I just wanted to flex. All right, yeah. all right. Draw. Technically, there's an advantage to uh, fetching for a land. However, there are other advantages <laughs> to not shuffling, like keeping it in play allows you to interact with your other cards. How yeah, much so, higher can these classes go? I don't know. I'm a little worried about them breaking. <laughs> your teammate's uh, a nerd. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, discard a whole breacher and put a counter on Ooh, my literature. It's Commander. He's playing whole breacher. Mm. You, we banned it in American Commander. <laughs> uh, that resolves. <laughs> Uh, all right, Southern Scrying is going to find me Tolarian um, Academy. Uh, dude. <laughs> it's going to find me Tolarian Academy. Like I said, yeah, I'm the premier wheeler pilot of the format. Well, then you're definitely our enemy because we hate the Academy here at the Tolarian Community College. Snobs. <laughs> Just because they're accredited and their basements don't flood. I think I mean, that's basements actively yeah, yeah. flooded. That's right. a pretty damp basement right there, yeah. that art. Uh, this goes to my hand, though, so. Card's bad. Mm. It's more of that academy ruins is what happens with the flooding. Yes. yes. Uh, which I like to cut. 
and then I'm gonna pass after that. The Academy deck is very interesting that even with no board, it's already putting a lot of pressure just because of the potential of resources being generated. So you look at like, there's a threat versus no threat, and yet you're like, ooh, we're scary right now. I am the danger. I am the one who candelabras. <laughs> <laughs> a guy untaps two lands under back to basics, and you think that of me? <laughs> Play Wasteland. Just allow oh, him to destroy I'm Dwarf. sorry, Wheeler. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I'll attack for two. Uh, yeah, take two. 14. And I'll pass. End of turn, I'm going to tap Mana Crypt and uh, activate Candelabra, untapping my Treasure Vault and my Tree of Tales. Yep. It's back to basics is officially very, very <laughs> bad for me. Yeah, uh, untap. Yep. Roll for Mana Crypt. So should I do odds? It's, it's up to you. Just it's just you just have to call it before you roll. Okay. You have to actually call it. What is the one where you don't take damage? What do you want? If I roll, hmm. oh my god, one, three, or five, okay, I take damage. No. Okay. My if god. I roll odds, I take damage. All right. God damn it! Thank you. He's 50-50. Uh, <laughs> well, neither of us touched the man. Yeah, so we it's don't. It's not. It's not my fault that two can it, two 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 of these members of Loading Ready Run have such good luck. Uh, draw. And he's handsome. I. What about me? What am I? What am I? What am the I? enemy for the next All right, ninety okay. minutes. Odd. Odd. Yeah. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> Just be on the same team here. I am going to take a lot of mana. Yeah, but. How and why? <laughs> Five, seven, to what end? Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. I did hit a very interesting draw here. Um, like maybe fourteen. Yeah. So he he might be bringing his commander in this turn. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so it's got some. <laughs> um. He's got some neat interactions to counterplay around the wasteland. Yeah. Of he gets the priority to play the land and tap it for mana at least once. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also like the treasure vault line here to make more artifacts to make it bigger, less. There's, yeah, there's a lot of complexity. I'm gonna play Inventor's Fair as my land for the turn. Uh, if I have three or more artifacts in my upkeep, I gain one life. Taps for a colorless, then I can pay four generic, tap, sack it, two to for any artifact put into my hand, but only if I have three or more artifacts in play. And then I'm just gonna pass. I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. Wow. I, I thought you were toast. I thought you were toast when that back to basics mm -hmm. resolved. Brioche, and... baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call me in Victoria, the brioche baby. Yeah. It's true. I gotta deal with a local baby. <laughs> yeah. I show up in a diaper. And, uh, it's a whole thing. It's got went from very sweet to very weird. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm sorry for helping a local business? I'm the bad guy? Okay. Uh, I'll untap. Yeah. I will upkeep the <clears throat> fetch. Yep. You're on the board. Yes. You did one damage to him. That's what I'm aiming for. Surge telling me before the game about how he's worried it's gonna go really fast. <laughs> he played a turn two back to basics. <laughs> I was gonna say, there there are a couple of potential matchups here that yeah. are going to go a bit longer, and this is one of them that could go long. <laughs> All right. Um, and then this is one of them that can go long, and then this is one of them that can go long. If we fight, I mean, we can catch the very next bus. So I mean, we can. <laughs> Forest. Draw. Oh yeah, this will have exactly one job. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> uh oh. Um, Is that good? I didn't see. Oh. But they're laughing, which is never a good sign. Yeah, let's prompt some action. Ooh. Ooh. Not now, not now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way to tease him. <laughs> I'm gonna attack with my ledger trader for two. Uh, 12. Um, yeah, the wasteland's a very important resource here. Um, Merc Tide Regent, removing my four cards. Mm -hmm. So Merc Tide will have a plus one plus one counter for each instant sorcery that I've exiled. So two counters, it's a three three flyer. Um, go ahead. Uh, end of turn. I need to do this now. He's contemplating making a bunch more artifacts. So mm -hmm. Academy cranks for a million. Yeah, I might be able to kill you. I'll do this now. Uh, I'm gonna crack this in Venner's Fair. Uh, end of your turn. To tutor for an artifact into my hand. You have two cards. Yes. Okay. That's a pretty good magic card. That 
It's a pretty good magic card. It's a pretty good magic card. I wasn't expecting you to go for that one, but it's it's a good line. Yeah, there's also this one. That, that's what I was expecting. That's also to go a for. pretty good magic card. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of the name of the deck. Yeah. You wanna... This this is so tempting. It, it, I'm very tempted. The one I'm ring very is very so tempted. Oh, God, is that <laughs> why didn't why is it how many points is the one ring in Canadian Highlander? Currently how, zero. Why zero? Who's in charge of this format? <laughs> you know, I am a supporter of the one ring going to one, but uh, at, I, at least it's thematic. Yeah, yeah right? I think, yeah. I think people need to get cooked by this card for another uh, couple of months before yeah. they realize that, like, yeah. Well, I've been on the receiving end of plenty of one ring cooking. <laughs> I'm going to find Paradox Engine. <sighs> There's his commander. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is going to go to my hand. Let's untap. Or do you want to cut? I'm good. No, I trust you. I'm going to have to get you to cut. I, I got to, I got to. I'm cursed. Just okay. do the top I, card. Just do the top card on the bottom. There oh you go. Come on, yeah. that's that, the LGS even that's cut. That's fine. That's fine. That's the LGS cut. Yeah, yeah. I'm so superstitious about this. We have ran into this a couple of times. <laughs> Every time I cut his deck, I cut him exactly to what he wants. Yeah. I refuse to cut now. Okay, so let's see. There's a one, there's a two. Uh -huh. On an odd roll, I will take damage. Ooh. Does that sound good? We're switching it up. Yeah, we're switching up. <laughs> just. just <laughs> I got enough. Yes. Three more turns. Uh, draw. All right, he's got the Academy and the Paradox in hand. Yep. Things are looking good for Team Canada. Oh, Pascal is also Team Canada. Well, I guess I'm not Canadian, so we're Team International Friendship. You're close enough. I'm close enough. I'm, I'm up north, but I'm not on the right coast. You're two turns away from dead, potentially one turn away from dead. Thanks, dude. Yeah. You got, if you got a chance to put your foot down on the gas pedal, you got to do it now. You're doing great, Pascal. I'm rooting for you. I'm really proud and impressed of what you're doing. I know that my job is supposed to advise you, but all of your moves have been fantastic. You're a great player. You, you dealt him six damage through the Mana Crypt. <laughs> That's more than this letter Shredder did. So you've been very helpful. And I'm, I'm sure you've made me cut the perfect card. Also. Yeah, yeah. So. That was the card he needed. It's on the bottom now. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I'm going to cast Paradox Engine. Will resolve. Yes. I'm gonna play Telerian Academy. Yep. I'm gonna tap it to add six blue mana to my mana pool. One for each artifact. Everyone collectively counted all the artifacts yeah, yeah. and you're like, yeah, it was in fact six. Good, good. I am going to spend three of that and a green, and I'm gonna cast Reap and Sow. Uh, <laughs> That's a card. This card was a Pro Tour winner, thank you very much, 20 years ago. <laughs> um, so it's, a, uh, it's well, a, Okay, well, what, what does it do? do? <laughs> so I either get to search my library for any land card and put it into play, or I can destroy target land, or I can entwine and pay one in a green to do both. Cool. I'm not doing that. No. Uh, I'm going to search my library for a land card, put it into play, and I have a Paradox Engine trigger as I have cast uh, a spell. Yeah, I also have a Ledger Shredder trigger. Yes. So I guess I'll resolve that first, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Draw. <clears throat> we'll discard a Spell Pierce. Mm. <laughs> Love to see that. So we've got the interesting moment here of when do we use the wasteland? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's my, favorite my only game. action. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys get that show up here? <laughs> when do you use the wasteland? Mm. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just wasteland now. I'll respond. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use one mana off my Candelabra Optanos to untap. Uh, I'm going to use two mana, actually. Activate Candle to untap my Treasure Vault in my Telerian Academy. So uh, we have one blue left. I got one blue left. And then I'm going to tap my Telerian Academy again to add one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I go up to six blue in my pool. So I'm gonna check you. seven blue, that's six. Seven blue, six plus one. Uh, and then Wasteland resolves. I lose yep. Telerian Academy. Uh, Paradox Engine Trigger resolves. Yep. I'm gonna untap these three artifacts. Uh, Reap and Sow resolves. Yes. I'm going to find a land and put it into play. That's the part I love the most about these blue tempo decks is when it gets out of hand, your only hope is that they break or <laughs> 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 I'm going to find Buried Ruin, a land that taps for a colorless, and I can pay to tap Sack It to return an artifact from my graveyard to my hand. I'm going to use 
two of my mana, going down to five blue, to crack Buried Ruin, to try and return Expedition Map to my hand. Results. I'm going to tap Mana Crypt for two colorless Felwar Stone for an additional blue, and I'm going to use one of the colorless mana to cast this Expedition Map, Paradox Engine Tree. Then I am going to tap this Mana Crypt to go up to three colorless, and I'm going to spend two of that to crack my expedition map to tutor for a land. Yep. Now it's interesting that he got the bird ruin to tutor a land to his hand instead of just putting the land into play with the previous land tutor. So we're looking for a land that wants to be in hand here, which is very interesting. I'm gonna be honest with you, Serge, I have no idea what the is doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, he's trying not to die. Dude, what the hell am I supposed <laughs> to do? I don't know, you're dead next turn, find an answer. Hilarious. I'm gonna grab Talarian West. So it's a land that comes into play tapped, taps to add a blue mana, and I can transmute it for one blue blue to find a zero drop and put it into my hand. Uh, DM, I do that. So I'm gonna spend one and two blue and transmute Toleria West. Yep. So it hits your probably walking ballista. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we necessarily have enough land to get up to lethal, maybe, depending if he has some cantrips. Uh, otherwise, I have no idea. He does not have a, con a look of confidence about his face. I don't know. Oh God, yeah. what do I do? <laughs> Uh, I am going to grab a fucking right. So the question is if he has enough damage to maybe just clear the board and survive, or if he can go for lethal. That'll really depend on what else he's got in his hand. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming the walking ballista resolves. That's true. That there could be the two cards in hand could be a force of will and a blue card. We don't know. If they were a force of will and a blue card, would that be the proper play? To, um, to, to counter, counter the yeah. walking ballista. Oh, absolutely. But right. it probably would have been the Paradox Academy. So. No, yeah. Well, he's probably gives it away that he doesn't have it. <laughs> you never know. I'm going to then use my four blue in the pool to channel Odawara to advance the Riptide region to your hand. What if you had the Force of all the no blue card? Back to Mana Crypt plan. Why would you, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking wow. that. Wow. Uh, and then I'm going to pass. Ooh. We'll get a turn. Yeah, you yeah. can go for lethal that turn. You get one turn, young man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel good about our chances. I'm just going to mm -hmm. say it. I could have maybe reap and sowed before the academy to blow your wasteland up and then play academy, but then you wasteland something else, and then I have academy candle that I don't actually think that's what I want. I'm just getting that out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. getting that out there. Yeah, there's. A, I, I will pretend that I know yeah. what you can do with your deck. Great. <laughs> Attack for three with my electro shredder. I go to six. He's got bolt or. Uh, I will pass. No! Oh, all right! Uh, end of your turn, I'm also gonna use a mana to untap my tapped Tree of Tales. <laughs> okay. So if I roll a one, a three, or a five, I will take damage. All right. Oh! Really? Three out of four? You can lose with this Down card? Down to three, right? Down to three, draw. Oh my. What'd you get? What'd you get? It's a good one. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to float a blue uh, and two colorless. Use the two colorless immediately. I'm going to cast Defense Grid, Paradox Engine Trigger. So Defense Grid says spells played on other players' turns cost three more. So any spell you play, for instance, a Force of Will, uh, would cost at least three. Hmm. <laughs> going to act like I don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the working man's Trinisphere. <laughs> That's the same face you made when he played uh, Back to Basics <laughs> on you. This will resolve. Paradox Engine Tree. I'm going to tap for an additional blue and two colorless. I'm going to cast a Walking Ballista for zero. Paradox Engine Tree. Ledger Shredder Tree. Yep. You're casting it for zero. Yeah, this, this line confuses the surge. And you have one other card. It's Dark Ritual. <laughs> It's better than it's basically Black Lotus. I thought that was your win con. Yeah. Uh, what? I guess things change, dude. It's the whole turn. Get with the times. Don't look at me. He's your teammate. You have a show with him, <laughs> which oh, you can God. watch on the Loading Ready Run YouTube channel. <laughs> Link in the description. Oh, it dies. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do you <laughs> I wish I knew what was going on. I, dude, I don't know what's going uh, on. I wish, you don't know how much joy I, that brings me when my opponent says, I wish I knew what was going on. So my thought process is here where first, 
what is he gonna do with that? I can't figure that out, so it's out of the way. Uh, <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out if I should put one more power here. Do, do you think he's gonna be able to gain one life in this turn? I think he's trying to win. I think he is, okay. a, I think yeah, essentially you, he is attempting to win the game. I'm working my way up to a really large stream of life. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I think he's he's attempting to win. I do not think you will get another turn if he succeeds in what he's doing. One of us is dying here. It does not help my line though. I still yeah. want to do the, try to do the optimal thing. <clears throat> right. So I'll just do, a random line, which will be, I'll discard that and give it one more power because. So this is the guess. Mm -hmm. Now I feel bad for using Odawar because now that's bigger. Mm. Um, so Paradox Engine Trigger, uh, Walking Ballista dies due to state-based um, incompetence. And then I'm going to tap for a blue and two colorless. Um, and I'm going to use it immediately and cast a Windfall, Paradox Engine Trigger. So Windfall says each player discards cards in their hand and then mm. draw cards equal to whoever had the most. And you have no cards. I've got no cards in it. So at this point, if mm. you don't use it, you lose it. Yes. Okay, interesting. And then using it costs three more. I will ask for the prof's advice. Yeah. Because it's very hard line to take here. Yeah, yeah. So I need your advice. Okay. Should we force a will this? He has no cards in hand. What if you don't force happen? if you Oh, he's if got you don't the force, force of will it, you're gonna lose it. So I the professor says force it. Thank you very much. This I needed happens. that advice. Yeah. I will cast it. No, I played it, I played it already. I played it already. Oh, <laughs> oh the force. Uh, and I will exile a subtlety. So force of will counters your spell. Pitch the free counter. One life. Cast the free counter. I just gave Pascal Maynard advice. <laughs> game winning advice. Game winning advice from the professor. When did you draw the force? Uh, a while ago, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah. I, I've lost this game. I Is it still of... a pleasure to be here? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, I had a good time. Yeah. I do kind of want to, may I? Uh, just just never do this at home. It doesn't actually All right, matter. All right, what is it? What is it? What did you? See if you would have gotten oh, the win. The seven. What's yeah. the win? What are you looking for? Can you tell us what you're what you're looking for? No, uh, anything. Yeah, he's I, digging, it wasn't he's there. He's digging anyway. at this point. Yeah, I was looking for another draw seven or a. Uh, <laughs> well, I had four cards. If I did nothing, yeah. you would draw. Three, draw, right? Yeah. You know? And would I draw three? No, we'd both draw four. How does, I, I don't even know what the. Yeah. So yeah, you, it, I, 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 I don't know what that does, but I do know what it doesn't. Yeah, and it doesn't yeah, yeah. win. Yeah. All right, so okay. team team Talarian uh, is up one, and next round it's you and me, buddy. Let's go. Welcome to round two. Bienvenue au round deux. Deux biche, what a hand you buhau. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for this. Yes, indeed. I have dreamt of this day because Serge doesn't know this. I actually learned of Canadian Highlander through watching you and your content. Oh, that's amazing. And a very, very long time ago on Tolarian Community College, I tried to steal it from you by doing a video about Highlander, but I messed it up. <laughs> so I've had about nine years to learn the format. And here we go. I get to go up against my Canadian Highlander hero. Oh my goodness, my heart is going to burst. Wait, no, this is a mind game, yes, isn't it? Yes. You're trying to take me down. You're trying to distract it me. It would be so cruel for you to, to, to destroy one of your fans, wouldn't it? It wouldn't would it be? be. Anyway, I'm, I'm allowed to ask Pascal as many questions as I want as we go through this Oh, it's game. a 2v1. Well, you've 2v2. got two. I do have oh, a Wheeler in my corner. You've got oh, Wheeler. He's I, your hero? Yeah. Look, you came you're later. New to the, you're new to the game, all right? I remember the episode of Friday Nights that introduced you, and I thought, wow, what a jerk. <laughs> but that was, you were just playing a character. That wasn't actually you, right? I was acting? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great episode of Friday Nights, linked in the video description. What do you want from me? What do you, Serge, Hi. kick this man's ass. I'll do right. my best. So in terms of points, my deck, being mono green, doesn't really need much. Just a good old fashioned Black Lotus and Mox Emerald. Clean, honest Canadian commander. <sighs> Serge, what are your points? My points are a little bit more complex. I've got a strip mine mm -hmm. for degeneracy. I've got a demonic tutor for fun degeneracy and a natural order for big green. Pretty sweet. Yeah. And all of these cards here are legal in Commander, so that's that's interesting as well. Mm. Well. <laughs> so since you lost, does that mean that Surge is on the play? 
Or do we roll, or do we roll for a fresh start? Well, this start? is continuous best of three. It is best right? of three, so you yeah, should be on I the should play. be on the play. Wow, way to put me at a disadvantage. All right, well, I'll just have to Blame ask. Blame Pascal. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Are. Thanks a lot, Maynard. All right. I'm setting you up for success, bud. All right. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, I, I do have that to start, so that's pretty sweet. This seems good. This seems good? You would keep this? Oh, yeah. You would keep this. All right. Pascal would keep this, and so would I. Interesting. I'm feeling a little weaker on this hand, other than the first two. It's close. It's close. Uh, let me check in with my guy. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Pascal, uh, est-ce que tu regardes? Uh, je crois que je ferai un mulligan parce que la main dans le match n'est pas excellente. Oh, okay. Dac, merci. I don't know what he said. <laughs> I'd keep, though. Yeah? Don't, don't help them. <laughs> All right. This is uh, this is this is a tricky hand. This is not what I expected the deck to be doing, mm -hmm. but we're gonna do it anyways. Swamp, expedition map. Uh, I don't draw. It's not commander pass. All right. Now this is not his, this is not his deck though. I saw expedition map a lot last time, <laughs> so you know just to be clear. I'm finding very different cards. I'm finding very different cards. All right. Cool. Uh, well, I don't know that this uh, deck plays lands, so I'll just start by playing a Mox Emerald. No, it does play lands. What a start. Didn't playing play with days. power. Didn't play around Didn't the play days. Around the days. God, if I had the days, that'd have been amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that would be though. cruel. <laughs> that would have been cruel. I wanted to show off my Mox. I do, I do have a land of forest, and we're gonna use that to tap that forest to bring in what I believe is a Quarian Ranger. Uh, Wheeler, what does this card do? Uh, <laughs> Do you want to read that? Oh, the, the classic Ymaro hey. deck from Wheeler, and they're all in German? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, you don't know what Quirion Waldlaufer is? It's a one mana one one that has an activated ability of return a forest to your hand. Uh, when you do, you can untap target creature, but you can only use this once per turn. Cool, okay. so out of out of these three cost creatures, which one should I bring out next turn? Oh no, this one or this one, depending on what he does. It's the order I had them in, by the way. I order them in my yeah. hand from three, this, three so three this, all right. Uh, move to attacks, move to second main phase. <laughs> <laughs> should Let, ask if ooh. the stack is empty. Is your stack empty? Uh, pass priority. Yes, cool. I'm tapping the Mox Emerald to play a Sky Shroud Elite. This is in English, thank you, Wheeler. And so Sky Shroud Elite gets plus one, plus two, as long as any opponent of my multiple opponents controls any non-basic lands. So far, doesn't get it, but it might. Terrifying. Yes. All right, untap. That's the turn. Draw. So I'm left with one of two options. I can play a creature that can't block, or I can start developing my land package. And what a package. <laughs> <laughs> make me blush over here. You know what? Let's go with the let's go with the creature here. I'm gonna make your your threat larger. Uh, Bloodstained liar. There we go. I'm gonna crack it, going down to 19. So now it goes smaller again. You just, made it large and then made it small. Just temporarily. It'll be it'll be swole any second now. Ooh, that'd be swell. I'm going to get a scrub land. Only white border. Oh. <laughs> Man, yeah. I'm getting judged because my bait, my duels aren't beta. All right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Just basic Jaeger over here. <laughs> if you were basic Jaeger, that Sky Shroud Elite would still be a one one. <laughs> Interested in cutting? No. All no. right. We we are going to right here. Do you agree that we don't need to cut each other's decks? Oh, like, sure. Like they yeah, did. Yeah, it was, yeah, that yeah. was very. I thought that was just like a little. No, little try hard. Yeah, yeah, try hard. Yeah, try hard. we're here. We're yeah. here for friendship and, and, and yeah. nice threats like Dothy Voidwalkers. Ooh. Snap. So it's a 3-2 shadow, which means it can only be blocked by or block creatures that also have shadow. Uh, if a card will be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead with a void counter on it, and then I can tap and sacrifice it to choose an exiled card an opponent owns with a void counter on it, and I may play it this turn for free. It's okay, it doesn't block. Okay. You don't I, I'm actually a little bit worried about that, legitimately. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, untap my Mox Emerald, untap my Forest. Draw that. I didn't even see it. It's another. It's another three drop. I, I still think first. we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with the original plan. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be better. Yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack with the Sky Shroud Elite and the Corian Ranger for a total of three damage. I'm at sixteen. Then second main, we're gonna tap the forest for uh, a green mana. We're gonna use the Corian Ranger to untap my Sky Shroud Elite to return the forest to my hand. Didn't play a land this turn. Oh. I'll play a forest. What a surprise. Oh, Tapping it for another green mana and tapping the Mox Emerald as well. We've got triple green. 
wouldn't be Tularean Community College and I wouldn't be the professor if I wasn't playing Merfolk, Sentinel of the Nameless City. Now, this is a card that's a 3-4 with Vigilance. Whenever Sentinel of the Nameless City enters the battlefield or attacks, create a map token. Wheeler, is how many points is Sentinel of the Nameless City? Currently zero, Currently but we zero. are in talks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess that's enough for my turn. I'll go ahead and, and pass to you. You got your little Void Walker over there. I do, which currently can't block, but I could I could upgrade. Are we still in my end step? I am. I am. Oh. I'm thinking about a game action, but it's it's free, and that means I could I could draw just to see if something else happens first. We're gonna untap. Mm. We're gonna draw for the turn. Basic forest. Uh, I'm gonna cast Snuff Out for free. Oh, oh so that's if right. you control a swamp, you may pay four life instead. Destroy a target non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. I'm going to kill your Sentinel. Ooh. Uh, going down to 12 life. Jesus. Now it's going to be exiled with a void counter on it. Vo we'll just put it over in here. Why don't we put Fantastic. it? In well, even well, we faster wanna, than that. We'll just put it over here. Why don't we just put it in play? Because I'm gonna oh. sacrifice my Void Walker to <laughs> cast it for free. Oh my God, my own map token? Wow. In this economy? So we technically don't have another map token, but you know what we have? Oh. In this economy? Infinitokens, oh not a sponsor. God. So Serge, uh, you actually get a variety of colors Ooh. even to draw your map with. And Serge is uh, making a red X and it says map. That's more artistic talent than many people often employ. That's actually pretty good. We got the dotted line. Yeah. Thank you. There's my map token. There we go. Can you fit the rules text on there? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure uh, and the, with the reminder. Oh, there's so much word on that card. Uh, I also have one more action I'd like to take, which is the casting of a Ramanap Excavator. So I can play lands cards from my graveyard. The lands deck playing lands. Shocking, I know. Renominop. <laughs> <laughs> my board is now bigger than your board. I pass. All right, fine. Go ahead and untap. Now, I could, I could, maybe I had a zero cost action I could have taken during your end step. I should have like faked him out, right? I should have mm. done that. Do you feel greedy? Because we could crack the map and then if we hit a land, we essentially have a free land drop. But it's very greedy. We basically don't have a turn if we don't hit. So many How many lands are in this deck? 33? <laughs> You feel like a would, what would you do? Would you, or... would you be well, my thirty three percenter? Would you would you be greedy, Pascal? I would not, but we're in a pretty bad position. Right. Yeah. When when the lands deck has more beef than the mono green deck, something has gone wrong. Yes. Well, this is kind of stolen valor. I yeah. Think. What what are you talking about? That's Mimer folk. I, I would be greedy here. All right. I think we need it. We're gonna be greedy here. We're gonna tap this forest to sacrifice the map token. And I think the Sky Shroud Elite is the good target to explore. We're gonna reveal the top card of our library and put that card into my hand if it's a land. Otherwise, we put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature, then put the card back or put it into your graveyard. So we're going to explore here and we do not get a land. <sighs> We get an Ulvenwald Oddity, definitely hitting the graveyard. We do get a plus one, plus one counter yep. on the uh, Sky Shroud Elite, making it a three, four. That is big. That is big, but it bounces it's, off of my, my three, four. It does Tom bounce Red. off of your three, four. I think we need to bluff some damage, so I would just attack him with the Sky Shroud Elite. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bluff some damage. Oh, wait, should I have said to bluff some damage? Okay, I'm going to bluff some out. damage. <laughs> I'm going to attack legitimately with my Sky Shroud. Elite. So what's very funny to me now mm -hmm. is I actually don't know if that's a bluff. That's because <laughs> I'm a master poker player. Right? Because like this type of deck does play a lot of combat tricks, which are underrated in here. So I don't know if you calling it a bluff is actually a bluff. So many levels. There's only one way to find it. Wait, you're my teammate. Never mind. <laughs> no, help me. I think you always block. What's worst case scenario? I give I, him back his murder. I can't help you for two reasons. Oh, you actually know what's in his hand. Well, I don't want to. <laughs> but also I know what's in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to help me? I mean, it's just kind of funny to watch you squirm a little bit. Ugh. But no, I, I sincerely, I've seen the card. Um, are you in a position where you think that if the prof does have something, that you can take the L, as the kids say? Hold the L? Take the... Your head? What? what do they say? I'm probably the kiddest. Is that a word? Yeah. I'm yeah. definitely the youngest here. Uh, they say that. Oh yeah. my god. You're the youngest? I say that. Uh, I'll take the block here. And take the block. Yep. It's a 3 4, right? Yeah, they're it's both three, 3 4. So it should bounce it's if you don't have one of the many one mana combat tricks in your deck. Yeah. Because the thing is, is with that. Just that. Yeah. Yeah. I, they bounce. They bounce. They now, bounce. this yeah. is me totally bluffing that I had a combat trick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Just pass the turn. We're passing the turn. All right. We should do acting together. Yeah. Oh. We're very good at it. We're very good. There's a very interesting question, which I think comes up a lot of times, which is if given the opportunity, <laughs> 
Would you strip mine lock the professor? Wow. I mean, yeah. I, I but think, <laughs> I think I'm going for it. I'm gonna crack the expedition map. How much can I backseat as your coach? You don't think it's a good line here? Well, there is a query and ranger in play. <laughs> it does kind of invalidate a lot of the land destruction. Oh, because you can do it. You can do it in response. Yeah. Right. It's not a his turn sort of thing. So it's in German. No. It, I mean, what it does is essentially locks us for ever playing a second land. Yeah. yeah. Which is not bad. Which is like, yeah, yeah, it's a thing that you can do. Uh, it's an action you can take. I do like that because restrict. it has missed the lands. Yeah. It doesn't advance my board state. <clears throat> Then go off, King. I am searching for it right now. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the classic magic thing of I'm gonna tutor without a good target in mind. And I'm just gonna look at my deck, you know? That's a classic. You do that? You can do Ooh. that? Well, so I'll be honest, a lot of times I I start tutoring with something in mind and I'm so laser focused on a line, I don't leave myself open to a potentially a better target. And I found I'd like to think potentially a better target, which is an Urza Saga with the Ramanap Excavator in play. I think that's a stronger line because you're right. It does restrict it, but it doesn't necessarily win me the game. I think this gets me closer to winning the game. What is that find in your deck now that Expedition Map's in your graveyard? Shadow Spirits or an Orb. Okay, yeah, those do win the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, uh, Urza Saga is yeah. going into my yeah. hand. No, I see. Urza Saga is I going was, into play. I was listening to the commentary. <laughs> you were? Yeah. That was Hold private. On. You're not in a dome of silence. I'm with my coach over here. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, well, he's looking at my cards. All right. I'm going to cast an ignoble hierarch. How ignoble of you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to declare a tax. It's going to get an exalted trigger. Oh, dear. That's that's no good. Uh, I have a four or five coming my way at you. Coming my way at you? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, uh, no blocks. It hits you. Oh. Um, hold on. All right, I, 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 I go down I go down to 16. I'll crack this map token now. Uh, I'd like to target my Sentinel of the Nameless City, revealing a Savine's Reclamation. Sure. I think I'm gonna put it in the graveyard. All right. And then that's value. I get to put a plus one plus one counter on the Sentinel, and I will pass the turn. Uh, before your turn ends, this mm -hmm. is the right time to do this. I'm doing this. It doesn't matter what you say, Pascal. I'm doing it <laughs> because you only get to live once upon a time. Oh. And so uh, this allows me to look at the top five cards of my library and I may reveal a creature or a land card from among them and put it into my hand and put the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We've, oh no. Oh no. That's a land, right? What's a, that? Th a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a land. Is this a land? Is this a land? Or is that going on the bottom I mean, of my library? It produces mana. So I assume we want the land. Oh, there's a Tarmogoyf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an easy first yeah, pick. That's an easy, is it? <laughs> I, I, I heard that it's not. I beg to differ. Uh, I follow the Pro Tour, and I know that a pro player would not first pick it. It's not Tarmogoyf. foiled. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, yeah. I'm gonna reveal a land. Yep. We're gonna put the rest at the bottom of my library. Goodbye, Tarmogoyf. Goodbye. To be Black fair, Lotus. if a pack had a Lotus and a Goyf in it, even if the Goyf was foil, I would right. probably take the Lotus. <laughs> and then once upon a time goes into graveyard, this goes into my hand. And we continue to pass the turn to me. Yep. It's not a Black Lotus, but it's pretty good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna play a land for turn. Look at us, we got there. So we're gonna go right on ahead and we're gonna tap three for a Cemetery Prowler. Ah. This is a 3-4 Vigilance, and when it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile a card from a graveyard. I don't like that Voidwalker. You don't like oh. the, I don't like the Voidwalker. Now that's my pick. Would you have picked the Voidwalker, Pascal? Yeah. There's an yes. argument for the Reclamation, but yeah. it I'm essentially will yeah. return the yeah, Voidwalker, yeah, yeah. and we really want our creatures to cost one less. Right, uh, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. Untap, untap. All right, come on, Serge, big draw. Draw for the turn. I said big draw. <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm a lands deck. Okay. Uh, we go to the Urza Saga step, which is right there. And I don't think this is going to help your mana in a detrimental way to myself. So I'm going to play a Yamaya, mm -hmm. a Cradle of Growth. Everything taps for green, which is great. You're just asking to die to Miri Cat Warrior. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true, though. All right. We're going to crack this map token. Targeting the Sentinel of the Nameless City, revealing a, ooh, wow. Liliana Last Hope. We're gonna leave that on top. Yep. It's a non-creature spell, so I still get to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. I'm gonna leave it on top, which is fantastic. Uh, then I'd like to go to attacks. Mm -hmm. I've got an Exalted Trigger here, so it's gonna attack as a six, seven, and make me another map token. Six, seven, eh? Correct. Canadian. He's learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I think it's time to uh, not take six. What are we at? 
We're at 16. That's plenty enough. That's no plenty enough? Blocks, no blocks. All right. No blocks. All right. Down. We are the aggro. Ten. We are the aggro. Doesn't look like it, but yeah. that's our only plan, so we need to stick to it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pass. All right. Uh, untap up. Keep. Drawer. Uh, it's Dece. Okay, okay. It's a card. This is rough. Yeah. I love, uh, I love this synergy. My current structure is just going to get larger and larger. Mm. I think the Talarian Community College way of playing this is the way to go. Okay. Which is just, just full, full. What are you at in life? I'm at, I mean, that's a big question. I'm at 12. <laughs> yeah. You're at 12 in life. Okay. So I, I feel like the first thing I want to do is I just want to tap a forest to play Shadow Spear. Oh. Now you said that was like a win condition for, for your deck. That's a good card. It is a good card. That's a good card. That's, that's why what I also want to do, what I also want to do is I want to tap two more to attach it to my Cemetery Prowler. Yeah. Which has Vigilance, and now, thanks to Shadow Spear, gets plus one, plus one, and has Trample and Lifelink. Yeah. Now what I want to do is I actually want to untap this Sky Shroud Elite. Isn't that weird? Sure. I'm untapping the Sky Shroud Elite to return this forest to my hand. Didn't play a land this turn, playing a forest. Now I just got just got a little little thing open there. Not suspicious. I'm just gonna just gonna pass the turn. <laughs> Oh, I turn. was in my heart. I was. Yeah. I'm like, am I getting ready to die to Berserk here? End step. I'm going to create a construct activating an Urza's Saga right here. Boop. Pass me a D6. Do you want this marked this way? Uh, sure. Okay. What? My D6 wasn't good enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Skill diff, my dude. All right, we're gonna go to draw step. I'm going to draw this Liliana. Yep. And then. What's going to happen is Urza Saga is going to go up to three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold priority, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to make a second construct. Right. Karnstruct. Karnstruct, right. pardon me. Uh, can I get that D6, uh, Professor, please? Yes. There you go. <laughs> you understand my pain. <laughs> All right, they're both three threes. That's pretty good. Then Urza Saga is going to sacrifice itself, and I'm going to go searching my library. Let me know when we have priority. <laughs> I'm going to get my own Shadow Spear. Copycat. Shadow Spear looking at Shadow Spear. Yeah. Do you want to? Do, should they cancel each other out? They both remove they each other. They are They're legendary. We could do the old legend rule. I liked Dawn. I liked the old. Legend I kind of did rule, too. I'll be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, Phantasmal Ninja's yeah. removal spell. Yeah. Oh, oh, Vizuva getting rid of legendary lands. Oh, it just made flavor sense. Why would Elspeth be fighting for you and yeah, fighting for yeah. me at the same time? Yeah. So gentlemen's agreement, no cutting. All right, you're gonna get priority in just a second here mm -hmm. as I go to equip the Shadow Spear onto my Sentinel of the Nameless City. We have priority. We have, you priority, have priority. Priority has been achieved. I am going to discard this green card so that I can endurance. If I had yeah. instead, I so you know what doesn't pass priority? Playing a land. So yeah. I could have played Urza Saga and just mm -hmm. kept the loop going. So you get these things called game actions. Okay, yeah, tell me more. Well, you can play a land, you yeah. know, maybe draw a card. <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, I didn't get to read what Endurance does. Oh, sorry. Now this is this is very interesting. You see, when Endurance enters the battlefield, up to one target player, Surge, will put all the cards from their library on the bottom of their library in a random order, and I was able to evoke it by exiling this Garrick's Bad Habit Bringer. Uh, from my hand. Yeah. So uh, Garrick's Habit Bringer is exiled, and your library goes on the bottom of your graveyard. No, no it, wait, it's the reverse. Yeah. I was, for whatever reason, I was so fixated on you trying to do something to my Shadow Spear in response that I could have played the land and still held priority. Right. Because that's not the sort of action we, we, we got to. That right. is. Um, we got him. But if you're worried about something happening to the Shadow Spear I, in response. I know. Uh, no, 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 no. Again, you know, you know, sometimes when you just hyper fixate on a line. Anyways, I've got, um, I've got feels now. All right, let's clean up my board here a little bit. Um, my constructs are up to four. Yikes! I'm a little, I'm a little shook. I'm going to be honest from that endurance play. That was a very excellent line. Now I need to ask myself the question of, do I attack alone with the Sentinel? Mm -hmm. Because I'm worried about you having a combat trick. Mm -hmm. And I'm worried if I attack with both of these, even though I make another map token, they attack at five fives, you can do a block and maybe blow me up. But if I attack with one bigger creature, it reduces the chances of, of getting as injured here. Would it be really devastating to you, and I'm smirking because you're not supposed to answer this, if I were to destroy that Sentinel? I'd feel bad about it. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm just gonna attack with it alone. You're gonna attack with it alone. So I'm going to attack, it's going to get a exalted trigger, I'm going to make a second map token, mm -hmm. and so this is a 
7, 8, lifelink trample. And my constructs are also larger because of the additional map token I made. What do you think, Pascal? Do I take out the Sentinel? I just feel like yeah. our only way to win this game is cheese. Uh, yeah. And cheese means... Oh, fromage. Uh, yes. You can't just say that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, it sounds like we need to draw like a berserk. I am at 12. Uh, I am absolutely in berserk range. He of has lifelink right on the shadow spear. Yeah, I will so be going to 20. We're, we're not gonna fromage at We're all. not, no. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it. I'm just triple blocking here. I'm going to order blockers such that we have the wolf followed by the Quirion Dryad, and finally the Sky Shroud Elite. Cool. Now, I do gain some life, thanks to Life Link as well. Yeah. Life total is gonna go up to 14. I'm gonna gain seven life Ugh. and go to 19. My Sentinel's dead, your two creatures are dead, Ooh. and I believe the Sky Shroud Elite survives through this combat. Hooray, it will save me. Second main, I'm gonna play an Urborg, the Tomb of Yawgmoth. Yes, well, you got both. Black. I do, all lands tap for green and black, and I figure your deck probably could use some black mana. I hope I don't help you too much, but uh, I'm mean, not gonna not play I don't land. really need the black mana. Uh, and say go. All right, cool. So uh, what do we need to top deck here in order to win? Is there something that destroys all our facts or something? Is there something in the state that destroys progress. all? I don't know if I can include a card like that in any of my decks. So I think this card right here is gonna win us. This is gonna win us the game. Uh, it's a hex drinker. I don't think that's gonna get us there. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and tap three to play a Briar Bridge Tracker. This is a two, three with vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, investigate. And so I have uh, gotten a clue. I can spend two, which I don't have, to sacrifice it and draw a card. Oh right. God, I was so attached to this Merfolk. I forgot it's supposed to go to your grave. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Although you should probably try that card in your deck. Yeah, honestly, very, very yeah, pleased with that good. card. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, cool. Uh, I passed the turn. All right, untap. I don't have any Urza Sagas or anything to do right now. Draw for the turn. I'm going to cast a Liliana. I've got an Urborg in play, so I'm gonna tap like that. I mean, I should probably tap the Swamp. Uh, I'm gonna plus Liliana of Last Hope and give that minus two, minus one. So your Sky Shroud Elite is, is, Sky Shroud Elite is a zero two. So at what point do you concede, Pascal? Soon. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty quick. So. It I'm gonna play a fair Dark Depths. Oh my God. Very fair. Very fair Dark Depths. And then I'm going to spend two mana mm -hmm. to put the Shadow Spear on one of the Karnstrucks. So this is now a 6-6 six, six with Trample and Lifelink. And I feel I feel like like the, the hand of concession is starting to shake here. <laughs> uh, the hand of concession uh, is starting to shake. I attack I mean, for 11. We probably have, have like a turn and a half left. A turn and, and, and do what? And, and achieve what? Well, could we possibly get? That's what I've been telling myself since like turn three. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you know, content. We play for content, which will be in round three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the game. Yes, yes. So what, well, let's see what I would have he gotten here. Hey, uh, an elvish mystic, Ooh. or rather an elfin mystic, yeah? Um, a Borealis <laughs> Druid. I had a perfect order. Hey, the deck yes. is consistent. And a Love Struck oh, there Beast. We go. Can I concede again? I feel like a double concession, but wait, that means that we are tied one to one between the teams and we're moving into the final round where we need to decide which of our two players, it's Pascal, will go up against uh, who and which decks they will be playing. Stay Ooh. tuned. Round three, now. Pascal, you know that Mono Green is one of the most powerful decks in Canadian Highlander, but as we just saw, it is often hindered by its complexity. A single misplay or mistake in sequencing forests can be an instant loss, and I didn't even get that many forests, but I probably sequenced them wrong anyway. I have chosen you to represent our team, but I want you as our pro, as the best Magic the Gathering player here at the table today, to take Mono Green and show us how it's done. Do you agree to those terms here? You're gonna show our audience and our opponents how to play Mono Green for real instead of me flubbing away with that missequencing of my two forests. I will sequence those forests. And I think out of fairness that the opposing team can pick whichever deck they want to go in. It looks like they've picked Surge. So I've got my lands deck or Wheeler's Academy deck, but only one deck at the table was made by a pro, so I'm gonna take your deck. <laughs> are, are you okay with him playing with your cards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I have Forest, he has Blood Moons. <laughs> oh, oh no! 
Okay, it's okay. There's 98 cards that are still gas. I'm sure this is fine. Here, uh, hold my lands, Wheeler. I guess you can take the workshop too. Thanks. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, thanks. There you go. That's on me. Yeah. What's the price point on this deck here? Well, uh, <laughs> you just flipped over a Mox Diamond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these are these are cheap, right? They're very affordable. Yeah. Zero mana, at least. Yeah. This is worth like the entire deck, right? The, the entire Mono Green deck. The beta is. signed bird? <laughs> yeah, I, I would say so. Now you should probably put it back in your deck, though. You probably want to get that Birds of Paradise. Oh, I just realized yeah. that in the best of three rules, you get to play first because oh, I won the last game. Oh, I think, man. I think that's good for Mono Green. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. Thank you, Serge, for your honesty. I For your integrity. Oh, man. What See, Wheeler, you could learn a thing or two. What are you doing? What are you, what, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a good impression here, okay? Why? That's fair. We're already here. Look, there's only one person at the table I want to beat, and I'm not playing him, so. <laughs> we were doomed from the start. <laughs> if you do want to see Serge and Wheeler play Canadian Highlander against one another, you should tune in to North 100 on Loading Ready Run's YouTube channel. Link in this video's description. A Canadian Highlander throwdown? My goodness. It's better than a Canadian Highlander hoedown. Take it, Serge. That's an Alberta crack, right? Yeah. So I'm already at six. Oh. I mean, I don't hate it. I do. Yeah, I'm probably yeah, mulling this. I can't missequence my forest if I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> we both mulling? G gentleman's um, mulligan again? Yeah. 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 Just, yeah I'm pretty happy to mull this away. Just <laughs> say it. The back to basics against the uh, the mono green deck is yes. all star. Probably you, sh you should do a gentleman's mulligan with the cutting too. Okay. My money's on Pascal. What about you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's I, I I picked him for my teammate. I could have had you, you know, and I went with Pascal. Pascal. How, how many people do you think are rooting for me right now? Everyone likes I, the underdog story, right? Leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment if you're rooting for Surge. Team Surge. Team Surge. Let's Hashtag see it. Let's see Surge. it. We've got people with little banners saying "Yay for Jaeger." Yeah. I feel I feel bad. For Pascal, he's got everything to lose, and I, I get to come in here and just, it's the hero story either so, way. So much for the gentleman's uh, no cut. It, oh, it's that's just ingrained, oh, it's just yeah. ingrained in I them. I do that in testing. Yeah, yeah. It's no, it's, it's, it's a reflex. It's a reflex. Yes. All Ooh, right. Oh, I don't we like do it. the thing. We do the thing. Well, that was think? that was the closest to a sneep I've seen from him all day. So <laughs> it's not that exciting. Good luck, friend. All right. Good luck. Uh, Prismatic Vista, fetch land for basic lands. No one can say I got shut out. <laughs> Are all the basics the same? Yeah. Okay. I like mismatched basics because you get to see more art that way. That's fair. There's the uh, the pro take on it. Is mm -hmm. if you have all the same art and they hand attack you or they they peek your hand, mm -hmm. then they can tell if you've played or you've drawn it. But if they're all the same art, they can't they can't get that advantage. It's again one of those like very 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 micro advantages that you can gain at the highest level. Well, I'll remember that if I'm ever playing Magic at the highest <laughs> level. <laughs> you just were. Yeah. Well. What no. Are you, what do he was? Hey, I beat. Ralph. Yeah. I beat Jim Davis in a game of Magic on this show. I beat Patrick Sullivan in a game of Magic on this show. I beat Bloody in a game of Commander, but it still counts because she was a pro player. I, I've I've held my own. I think I could take you, Pascal. But we're on the same team. We're on the same team. We got them in fighting. <laughs> Not like you two at all. This. <laughs> They're mental shaky. They're don't weak. don't talk to me. Focus on the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lead with a Misty Rainforest and say go. Play a Horizon Canopy, mm. land that I can sacrifice to draw a card or take one damage and make a green. I will play a Noble Arc, take one, go to 18, play a, an L to Deep Shadow, which makes black mana and deals one to me. Yeah. When tapped, uh, we'll go to combat, and because Noble Arc has Exalted, I'll attack for two. 18. Uh, I'll go to 17, I'll crack and step. Uh, and then, are you okay if I do a shortcut? Absolutely. So I'm gonna get a tropical island, and then I'm going to island cycle this Lorien Revealed. Absolutely. So I'm gonna get a tropical island into play, and we're going to get a basic island into my hand. The snow-covered basic was the next card, Wasted Tutor. Volcanic Island. You want me to get a volcanic island? I want you to get a volcanic island. All right, I'm gonna get a volcanic island instead. Thank you. I just displayed the 
huge complexity of mono green, and I, I, I did not play this on turn two. Oh, wow. That was pretty masterful. <laughs> I mean, you only have five mana right there. That's it. It's a decent turn two. How many uh, arc trails in this deck or pyroclasms just out of curiosity? Zero, but exactly one fury. And I hope you don't have it. Oh. But it sounds like you don't have it the way you're talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous of you untapping with six. Going to be honest. Thank you for being honest. Man, this is some... Some tricky, tricky. Yeah, I'll, um, I got a, I got a plan. I'll pass to you. I have effects in your draw step. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna cast a dress down. When it comes into play, I draw a card, creatures with those abilities, at the beginning of the end step, sacrifice it. Okay. That's fine? Yes. Okay, I'll draw a card, and I've yes. taken three mana off the board. Um, I'll play it yet my Oh, my mana's perfect. Ooh, I can now tap my Horizon Canopy <laughs> for a green that deals no damage. Very nice. Sequence, sequencing four. Yep. <laughs> Play a leatherback bail. Nice. That's, I mean, that's that's beautiful. It's pure complexity. Thank you. So much flavor text. Now that has no abilities right now? It resolves. <laughs> yeah, it has no ability. <laughs> Combat for two. Okay. I'm at 15. Wheeler really wanted me to get that uh, Leatherback Bailoth out turn one with a Black Lotus, but it uh, wasn't in the cards. That would not have been a good <laughs> yes. selling point to play Canadian Islander. Look yeah. what you can do with Black Lotus. Yeah. No, that is, I think that's a that's a selling point. Black yeah. Lotus into Leatherback Bailoth turn one. Oh, Let us know if that makes you want to play Canadian Highlander in the comments below. Uh, so end step, I have to sacrifice the dress down, yeah. draw for the turn. I'm going to play this Wooded Foothills. We're gonna start with a chain lightning Ooh. on the noble hierarch. Love it. I will float a green. Fascinating. Go. <laughs> I lose my green man. Okay. Burn for one. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. And another card that I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's, Wait, that's, a, that's an English. English. I know, but I still don't know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty good though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get a French translation of yeah, these? Yeah. So I will tap these. This will untap this forest. Hmm. Um, and I will cast Thrun the last one. <laughs> oh! It's Thrun! It, the game's over. GG. Subtlety? Subtlety works. Yes. Yeah, I do have a subtlety. <gasps> oh, yeah. So when it enters the battlefield, choose up to one target spell or planeswalker spell. Its owner put it on the top and the bottom of their library. So I can't counter it, but I can bounce it. Okay. And we're gonna exile the Hull Breacher here because I don't I don't think the mono green deck's gonna draw that many cards. And then if you follow with like a Sylvan Library, I'll be very sad. I have Horizon Canopy, right in play. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, seems pretty good. We should bottom. Yeah. Play. Yeah. No. No. Thrun is the unstoppable. Bottom. Top, it will be on top. Uh, combat. Yeah. Five. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna snap this and go down to 14. I think I need this to be untapped, which is truly unfortunate. So we're gonna get a steam fence and put me down to 12. Oof. And I've got a magmatic sinkhole. And I'm gonna exile five cards from my graveyard to pay for the delve. It's gonna deal five damage to your Bailoff. And then I had to deal three damage to myself to get there, but I only take one this combat. <laughs> Oh, this is why it's called Rug Delver. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was think I was I was waiting for a rug joke. Yeah. But hmm? no, it was just a Delver joke. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, because he delved. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, any day now, I'll rip a threat. <laughs> Sorry. I think he just ripped a threat. Oh my god. He, he ripped the antithesis of a threat. Hey now, hey now. Uh, what does Thrun say? Can't be the target of spells or abilities, regenerate and can't be countered? Yeah. All of those words? <laughs> Did you read the Thrun? Reading the Thrun explains the Thrun. I was just thrun. really hoping it had fewer words. Can't be the target of spells or ability of opponent control. That's so rude. And it can't be countered. It's Thrun. What are you going to do against Thrun? Nothing. All right. Uh, Taiga into Sensei's Divining Top. Oh, oh yes. Oh, we going to spin More the win. More gameplay. Oh, threat. More gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I asked for a threat, I was delivered a top. Yeah. Behold, a threat. <laughs> As they go. All right. Uh, he can't just possibly play Thrun again, can he? Oh, yeah. I will once again tap my Horizon Canopy for a forest. Yeah. As a forest. 
and then play run. I'm gonna spin top in response. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't know that there's anything in the deck that he's yeah, top run. <laughs> no. This is a particularly bad yeah. set of three yeah, cards. Three was printed the way Reprieve has been printed. Yeah. yeah. It would work. Yeah, I just need to show the camera just the absolute stacked couple of cards we have on top. We've got uh, just three absolute <laughs> Winners wow. to uh, to answer what's coming up right here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put the. I don't away. think you needed to ask him to close his eyes, given those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, results. Okay. Uh, combat. Oh, right. So good to hit me. I'm a ten. Uh, pass. Untap. Draw for the turn. I'm going to cycle Ash Baron to get a new three cards on top. That's a combo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get a snow-covered basic island and put that into play, and then I'm going to pass to you. So you're at 10. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we will go to combat uh, response. Yeah, I'm going to cast Cryptic Command. The modes are going to be tap your team down, and I would like to draw a card. Okay, so is that before going to combat, or is that before going to attackers? That is before going to combat. Okay. Did I say that one? That, that, you yes. want to do this at <laughs> you want to do this at beginning of. Oh right, so he still doesn't. Yeah, because I could just tap these. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah, declare yeah, yeah. attackers. Though. DM, I do that. I do it at the best possible timing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. The old four mana fog. Mm. Second main phase, cast a delighted halfling. A one, two, that taps for colorless, and any color, if it's used to spend legendary spell, that spell can't be countered. That's your turn. So real quick, Pascal, how many answers to Thrun did you put in your deck? You played it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you played the two of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. But you can start chaining cryptic commands with like maybe a snapcaster yeah. or a... Yeah. Um, before draw step, I'm gonna spin top. Yeah. Just get a really big Murktide region. Yeah. None of those are a really big Murktide <laughs> no, region. They certainly aren't. So I don't know if you're gonna agree or not. I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna cast this, and keep digging. Okay. He agrees. Well, Riv riveting endorsement from your teammate. Serge, I've never said this before in my life, and I might not again. I believe in your ability to maybe win this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wheeler. That's the nicest thing he's ever said to me. I always got our his back. 15 years of friendship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast Ponder. Oh. Look at the top of the cards. I'm gonna shuffle. Yep. Come on, Minsk and Boo. Which I can't cast right now, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pretty good sign for a format when Thrun the Last Troll <laughs> is just the most terrifying thing you can Oh my imagine. God. Thrun the Last Troll is probably the uh, single card that has had the most wins on this series really? and in the most formats. Huh. Yeah. Wow. It's de it's we devastated in our modern matchups. My first commander win on my own show was with the other Thrun, but still a Thrun yeah. uh, uh, as my commander. Thrun, what are you gonna do? It's Thrun. Nothing. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, draw off Ponder. Oh. Uh, <laughs> doesn't answer Thrun, but it's a good card. Uh, pass to you. Ooh, French card. There we go. French card. Oh, we just gave right. it away. There's probably only two French cards in there. Contrefort was it? Oh. oh. He has a forest. <laughs> cool. What? Yeah, it's just a fetch land. <laughs> <laughs> okay, combat. Yes. <laughs> That's a good noise. You always want your teammate to make exactly that noise. I mean, I can't deal with Thrun. I'm gonna try and prevent one damage by Unholy Heat shocking the Delighted half lane. Wow, he's just going for some pie. <laughs> right, right? Hey, it's mana neutral, dude, it's good. <laughs> uh, I'll take six and go to four. We'll pass. All right, end step, end step, spin top. Come on, Murktide region. Murktide region. Murktide! I don't have another shuffle wheeler. Uh, you might draw it. Really need a, a creature wheeler. <laughs> I need a blocker. Yeah. All right, untap. Draw for the turn. I mean, speaking of mana, mana neutral, may as well. Ooh, from hell's heart I stab at V? I mean, I got this bolt. I need to cast the bolt either way. So I could bolt one of the elves or I could bolt you. Damn, he's at 18. I think I'm just gonna shoot him. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. I like where wait, this is going. Wait. Yeah. You're at four? Yeah. And you're shooting him? I mean, I, I, all right, if I get a blocker, you're right. I should I should shoot the elf. I should shoot the arbor elf. Oh, because then if I can block this, I only take one. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot the arbor elf. I know it's cooler to... I thought it'd be funnier to, you know, to, to shoot the Frenchman, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. I got a treasure cruise. Maybe it, it was just like some crazy math. He, he knew <laughs> that if I was 15, that he could play a read. Yeah, 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 yeah. me in two turns, you know. Uh, no. We got our. We got our. We got our second. We got the second delve card in the rug delver deck. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So I will draw three. One. Wait. We know what two of these are. Yeah. Two. Oh, my God. What's he gonna do in the face of this hate? Wait. I'm just dead. Or am I? Sir, you've been dead for turns now. Spin <laughs> top. Okay. A blocker. Okay. Young fireman or I kind of classed would. Mm -hmm. Provide blockers for turns. Do I have another? Do I have another blue source? No. I think we're dead, Wheeler. That would have saved me if I had one more blue source. In order to do that, okay. I would have what, what would have show us? So I drew an archangel's charm. Ah, archmage. Archmage's uh, charm, which is blue, blue, blue. So I could have stolen the elf. Oh, it doesn't untap it though. Yeah, exactly. So there's no, no win on that one. Uh, and my hand is counterspell, counterspell, <laughs> land to land. <laughs> <laughs> to all these fight bells. And, <laughs> I just, and I just can't, I can't deal with this throne. I can't bounce it. I can't counter it. I can't kill it. This, this count, this means I won on the Canadian Highlander episode against the Canadian Highlander show host. Too hosts. easy. Yeah. Too easy. All right. Wait, another win for the professor and uh, teammate Pascal Maynard. <laughs> but, but your deck lost. Yeah. So it's kind of like a so it's loss like, it's, also for me. It's like a draw, yeah, right? It shows uh, how important, yeah. it shows how important the pilot is. <laughs> But that's a dig Some against me. Say. That's a dig against me too, because I I did terrible with the monarch ring. So this deck is sweet, by the way. Thank you for letting me pilot it. Good games. Good game. Oh, Good excellent! Games. Absolutely. Thank you so Good much. Games. Thank you. Thank you for the games. Wheeler, it was fun. a pleasure meeting. Thanks for being my teammate. It's I'm a shame neither of us could beat Pascal. You brought the college another win. Still got it. Managed to beat Wheeler, Surge, and my biggest opponent, Prof on my team. You know, they say never meet your heroes, but I not only got to meet one of them, I got to play alongside of him. Pascal Maynard, one of the greatest Magic the Gathering players on my team. I have nothing but respect and love for all of the great things that he has done and brought to this game of Magic over the years. And he was here on my team. Love my teammate. Obviously, I'm disappointed. I couldn't bring the trophy home for the Canadians, but you know what? I got one win and Wheeler got zero, so I'm happy. How the f Mishra. do you lose with a blue red deck? <laughs> That's all. That's great. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I took any damage. Next time, it's one more lost episode of Shuffle Up and Play, an off-the-rails commander game with one more mana that we thought we could never, ever air because it's got so many, many misplays. Um, I just looked straight at his hand. <laughs> but we sat down with our judges and marked every misplay we could, and now it's time to watch along and see if you can catch them before we do. Get ready to shuffle up and misplay one more time with one more mana. So that's why I'm attacking Derek for one. Ken's just sitting there like the Gerber baby, just butt, butt <laughs> naked staring at you. Isn't that what was used to torture Feldon's wife? Poor is, Feldon. Is that her on the rack? <laughs> <laughs> All right, awkward. Play this planes in your mono red deck. Sunken ruins. Ooh. We call those brittle lands because they filter. This is a non-token. Son of all the- oh, no, no, it's